Hello again, my name is Ben Baxter with Accent Software and we're going to walk you through another Dynamics NAV manufacturing capability. In this uh, cover today we're going to be walking through the make to order environment. Someone who will build a product based on a customer's demand or several different customers demands depending on whether it's a specific to a customer or not. Uh, but in either case, uh, we're going to walk through some of that functionality today. So what I'm going to go ahead and pretend to do is be talking to a customer on the phone uh, and they tell me that they want to order a product. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a sales order form. Uh, it's going to tell me they have an overdue balance. I'm okay with that. Uh, they're a good customer of ours. Uh, they're telling us when they want to uh, order an item. So we're going to go ahead and pick the item 3020. So that is a make to order environment uh, item. So when I put in quantity of 10, it's going to tell me, hey, I don't have 10 available. That's OK. Uh, I'm going to say that is OK, because I know we're going to build those 10. Uh, now they've told me they want those on the 11th. So we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, February 11th day. Notice it said that I've changed the requested delivery date. Do I want to go ahead and update the lines? I do, because that's going to be taken into account on when we need to have that order completed by in order to ship it to them. Uh, and we can talk about some of the uh, parameters that go into that as far as shipping time, uh, load time, those sort of lead time generators as far as when we actually need to complete that by. Uh, I'm also going to take a little bit of a higher level view. I could have from that sales order generated my production order, um, but I want to be kind of in a high transaction volume type environment. And so with that, uh, we're going to assume that there's several different people entering orders all day long, and I want someone on the operation side, the production side, to run a worksheet that calculates what they need to build based on all of the different orders that we have pouring in through the doors. Uh, so for that, I'm putting on a different hat now. I'm the uh, operations guy. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and calculate the regenerative plan. And so I have a time horizon in place. Uh, I could run it wide open. I'm going to go ahead and filter it down to just that specific item we're working with today. Uh, so you can see the result of this. Now, the order I put in was for 10. So when I run this, it's going to cycle through and pick up that demand and say, you need to build a new production order for a quantity of 10. Uh, it's also going to take into account the due date, which is the uh, requested delivery date that I built in for that customer. Uh, and then when I need to place the order by, how long it takes it to build it, all of those factors are being taken into account uh, to come up with when I need to start, as well as the routing. Uh, now something uh, very nice with the Dynamics NAV system is this order tracking. So this is a make to order environment. I want to be able to see what that order uh, or what the generation or the demand item is for that item. So I'm going to click order tracking and it's going to tell me that there's a sales order 3007. 30, okay, so tracks it back to that. Again, I'm the operation guy, not the sales guy, but I can click show and actually drill all the way back to that sales order that we entered earlier. Um, so that's a nice little feature to be able to drill down to where this demand is coming from. Uh, so with that in play, uh, all I need to do at this point is carry it out. Um, the calculate regenerative plan should have already calculated for me uh, any kind of uh, component demand and lead times and when I need to order product by in order to fulfill that order. So by carrying out the action, it will go ahead and create the production order for me related to that uh, sales order. Now there's several different options as far as the carry out. Uh, we're going to do firm planned uh, just in case we're buying material or something like that. I always want to double check before I release it into uh, the shop's hands. Uh, and in this case we're not actually making any purchase orders so uh, I can leave that as it is since we're not doing that or I could blank it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And off it goes. A production order has been created. Uh, if I went back to that customer and that sales order, uh, and it will show me what the uh, open orders are for that customer, so I can go and take a look at it. Uh, I know it's this last one, the 3007. Uh, if I go ahead and show that uh, particular um, sales order, we can actually drill back to uh, the the uh, production order that was created for it. So if you see here, uh, I'll show you one more time. There's this planning button up here at the top. Uh, that is to show me, because I'm on that line, what is related to this order. So here I can see a firm planned production order to make 10 
uh, and when it's supposed to be available so that I can ship it. Uh, and then I can go and see additional information if I needed to, uh, but I know that there is a production order in the system fulfilling this particular order. Uh, so with that, uh, we're not walking through how to fulfill the production order. Uh, that is in one of our other videos on our channel, so hopefully you will uh, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and, and see what other content we have out there and, and share it with your colleagues. With that, I wish you have a great day. Thank you very much.